How can you bring me some coffee? Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, I'm really, really disturbed by um, what I'm watching in terms of a double unalive, um, actually, trial. In fact, the one that was Boosie, that Boosie was arrested um, upon leaving. Well, courthouse, that is. But it's this young, young baby. Why in Melly or something? Um, I'm sure y'all familiar with it. Uh, those of y'all who listen to rap, I, w I tried to ask my, um, I tried to ask uh, my nieces or my little goddaughters who he was, and most of them didn't even know. So I guess you have to be hardcore to know who this young man is. But this is the gist of this story, and I want y'all to hear me real well because I for those of y'all who think that I'm a racist individual, you know, you nothing could be further from the truth. I have the most eclectic family <laughs> that I really can't afford to be that way. Okay? Um, I can s say I don't like certain things, but I'm, I'm in love with the human family. And I really want us all to get along. Okay, if, if you want to know what my heart says, I'm a musician, I'm an artist, I am an empath, so that's, I'm not somebody that loves a confrontation, but if I have to be in it, then I'm in it to win it, that's who I am, okay, so I've been watching this YN Melly trial, and, um, I want y'all to know one thing, and for those of y'all who have had a family member killed and know what that feels like, and you're not on this free Melly train no matter what, I, I have no sympathy for you if you're a black devil or if you're a white devil. It really makes no never mind to me. I abhor you both. Okay, and I hope when, when I pray to God smite all my enemies, your black self is up in there too. It ain't just a white man. Because you have been just as detrimental to my community as slavery. Okay, because this is a new kind of slavery. Where you don't even know it's like a whack-a-mole. You don't even know where the enemy is at and where he's coming from. So I will say this. Without, from what I've heard and from what I've been watching, it's a lot of suspect. The ex-girlfriend mother that got up there, she's, she that is a hostile witness. Yeah, she's hostile now. But when you find out they've been giving her money, um, and I'm glad the prosecutor put that out there. Because what's happening now, this world is so controlled by money, okay, which is the, the Europeans' God. And so since they've taken a good portion of us out of our nature, okay, where the nature that we knew how to barter, we knew how to have a fair exchange, which meant no robbery. We knew how to be right by one another. We've lost that ability. So we got all of the white man's mores and his um, sneaky dealings and his um, greed and his lust for more. We've taken on that persona. So I don't really care if it's a young man that's facing the death penalty. And if they did what he said he did, and if they are that cold and cruel and callous to do what they've been accused of, I hope they do get the death penalty. I could care less. Unfortunately, 
you walked yourself right into that one. Because that 50000 or whatever it was meant that much to you that you would take your friends out, you would stage a drive-by, and then, the, and then the, the decorum, just the way he's performing in court. I've never seen somebody that's been convicted of a double murder, a double unalived situation, smiling like this is a game, and you didn't kill somebody's family member. See, I don't have no sympathy for you. And if y'all, if you kill these young men for that money, so you wouldn't have to split it with them or whatever the case is, and you have the heart to do that to people you grew up with, you need to be gone. And for the mothers, like I said, nothing bothers me more because I understand what a mother's love is. I understand. But I'm not going to be hiding my son and he's guilty of murder. I'm not going to hide him. I'm sorry. You can call me what you want to. I'm not doing that to the rest of my... If I have an aberration and it wasn't in self-defense, I mean, for real, for real, and my son out here banging, he ain't going to come around me no way with that behavior. But guess what? I would have to accept that's the life that he chose for himself. And whatever come from that is the consequences that his black ass got to uh, pay up. He got to pay the piper. So for those of y'all out here talking about free Melly, free Melly and Nelly, whatever the hell his name is. If you haven't had a family member murdered. And in this case, the one of the, the fathers said that. One of his daughters is still running around here talking about free Millie because they gave her money. You see how low we've sinken? If we've sunken, I'm sorry, as a people? You see how low we'll go for some dollars? Uh-uh. We can't afford these kind of people in our community no more. That it just as soon kill you. Because somebody promised them something. You ain't done nothing to them. In fact, you thought you was on 18. And the game is that cold? Yeah. With kids? And as far as the gang members are concerned, they just weak. Because you will... Put fear in your community's heart, but you won't do nothing to the real open in, in, open enemy of us. Period. So, and they get, they control all the goods. They control what come in your neighborhood and what leave it and how much money come in and how much leave it. But you don't got no smoke for them. All your smoke is for the single mothers that live in the house that you can come and do a home invasion or the brother on the street corner that looked just like you that's selling a dime bag. That's who you on. But you got the nerve to be a capo. But you ain't going against the real enemy. Y'all some fake, phony. Uh, and you've sinking down, sunk down to levels that I just, I just can't even stomach. I don't agree with everything Charleston White say. <laughs> But Charleston White say a lot of real shit. He say a lot of sh And I'm older. I'm a lot older than Charleston White. And I... And, and, and we've sunk in too low. And the only thing going to take us out of it, those of us who want to be saved, is the truth. And some of us going to have to be dealt with. And whether that's through the death penalty or whatever kind of other kind of penalty they got prepared for you. You a devil anyway and you destroying your community anyway. You need to go. And for those of y'all who accept money to keep your mouth shut after you know the person that you to keep your mouth shut then committed a double murder. Them people got family members too. I'm one of them. 
and it traumatized me and breaks my heart every time I see a grown ass woman covering up from a little boy because she didn't got some money. All that stuff she was talking on Instagram, now she got amnesia. She don't remember anything. The whole thing is just disgusting. And that's my take on the YNW Melly. The case starts again on Tuesday. And um, just with his behavior alone, I think they should hurry up and bring out all the evidence they own. Because I can't even stomach his face. Say no joke. I'm sorry, y'all. If y'all don't like what I said, oh well. If you like what you hear, please like and subscribe and share the channel. And tell me what you feel about this. Y'all think we should have dogs in our community running around just killing people and killing them because somebody promised them a bag? The hell? Oh, I'll see you in the next video.